what's up YouTube welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be talking about the steps when combining data together with an append but we have some duplicate information available and how to handle that process with inside of Power BI let's go ahead and get started so here we are inside of an Excel workbook and we have two sheets sheet one contains products a b c d and e and then on this second sheet I have products a b j k and l and so the idea is that I want to combine these two sets of products into one table but I only want a unique list of information with inside of it and so we're going to talk about how to combine these two sheets together and make sure that we don't have any duplicate values with inside of our table so let's take a look at Power BI so here we are inside of our Power BI desktop and I'm just going to connect to the Excel spreadsheet that I created for this example So as I connect to the Excel spreadsheet, it's going to ask me what tables that I want to bring in or what's available on the sheet. So you can see here that we have two tables available. We also have two sheets available as well. And so you can get a preview of the information by selecting either the table or the sheet to get information. Notice the difference between the two. The tables have the product header already in its correct position and the sheet that just houses the information has the same information but that header is column one rather than products which is what we need now we could use either one of these either both sheets or both tables if we use the sheet though we would have to promote the header in order to get it in the correct position so we're going to select the two tables here and just bring in the information as it looks correct so I'm going to select the check mark for table 2 and table 3 and we're going to go ahead and click transform data to bring up our power query editor so notice as it brings in the power query editor we have our two tables we have our table 2 which has a B C D and E and then we also have our table three information which contains a b j k and l now the goal in this is to combine these two tables together into one table but because of the duplicates with a and b we want to figure out how to best get rid of this information so what we're going to do is we're going to select the table with the original values you can do this either way but I'm gonna select this table and I'm gonna go up here to the top and I'm just going to append the queries remember appending queries is similar to a union in SQL and so this is just going to combine the two tables together inside of one table so I'm gonna select append queries and I'm gonna select the two tables that I want to append so because I chose table 2 as my table my original table I then have to select the other table that I want to append here so I'm gonna select the other table table 3 and go ahead and click OK as I do this though what you're gonna notice is as it combines the information together we are going to have duplicate records for A and B so when we're dealing with things such as products we wouldn't want a duplicated product in this table and so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the duplicates the easiest way to do this is to right click on the column itself and we are going to remove the duplicates it's going to look through the column and it's going to remove anything that is duplicated so we're going to go ahead and remove duplicates here notice now we have a unique list of our products available A through E coming from table 2 and then J K and L coming from the other table so now that we've kind of discussed that let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question so this test prep question says that we have a Microsoft Excel workbook that contains two sheets named sheet 1 and sheet 2 
Sheet one contains the following table, table one, and sheet two contains table two. And it asks us, you need to use the Power Query Editor to combine the products from table one and table two into the following table that has one column containing no duplicate values. So as always, let's look at some of the key pieces of information here. We need to combine product from table one and table two. The other key piece of information here is that no duplicate value should exist in that table. So as we can see, ABC, products ABC and M and O are both duplicated with inside of both of these tables. And so we essentially want to only have one of those values. As we talked about the append, we know that append is going to essentially union these two tables together, stack one on top of each other. And so the goal here is to get this end column, the single column table with all of our product information with no duplicates. And so in order to do that, we first have to look at what the question is asking. So let's take a look at our question here. It says that we need to perform three actions in sequence. So we have to choose them in the correct order. And so as we look at this, we have to think about how we're going to bring that data in. And so as we look at this first option, it says from the Power Query Editor, remove the errors from the table. Well, if we just brought those tables in, there's not going to be any errors with inside of those tables because they're just Excel spreadsheets with tables inside of them. So there's not gonna be any errors in that table. So we can go ahead and eliminate this option. The next one says from the Power Query Editor, select table one and remove duplicates. Remember that's a key part is we are not supposed to have any duplicate information and so this is a potential option for us to use so removing the duplicates the third option says from the power query editor we want to merge table one and table two so we've talked about the difference between merge and append in several different videos so merging is when you have two different tables and they have a key column or something that relates them. In this instance, we just have one column named products, and so we don't want to merge the tables together, we want to append them. So we can go ahead and eliminate this third option. So that leaves us with three options available, and remember our goal is to select three actions, but we have to choose them in the correct sequence. So as we think about using Power BI, remember that we are always going to start by getting our data. So we're gonna bring our data in from its source. Notice that this fourth option down below says, from the Power BI desktop, import the data from Excel table one and table two. So that should be our first option. So this is gonna be our first sequence of steps. Then we have two choices from the Power Query Editor, select table one and remove duplicates, or from the Power Query Editor, append table two to table one. If we look at table one by itself, there are no duplicates in table one. So just looking at table one, there are no duplicates in this table, so we cannot remove the duplicates because there aren't any. It's not going to perform any task that's gonna be beneficial to us. So that means that our first option should be from the Power BI desktop, we're going to import the data. The second step is that we are going to append the two tables together. Notice it says append table two to table one. So that means that all of our information, once we append, is inside of table one, which would have duplicates as we saw in the previous example. So that means that our third and final option that we should perform in sequence is from the Power Query Editor in table one, once we've appended the data, we can now remove the duplicates. And so that's the order that we should perform in sequence 
from the desktop, we're gonna import the data. We're gonna select table one and table two. Then we're gonna append the tables together. Then finally, we're going to remove the duplicates from that appended table. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.